sitting here with Dr. Michael Workman. He is a plastic surgeon, and he brought in implants today so we can look at the different types. Now, what is this big blob? Well, this big blob is a saline filled implant, and outside the body, interestingly, air diffuses in, into it. So, but when it's in the body, however, it's filled with normal saline. So, okay. this is a saline filled implant. Yeah, it's like a, a water. And saline balloon. for everybody else is salt water. Salt water, salt yeah. Water. Same thing we put in the IVs. Okay, so most people, though, nowadays, these are still popular, but I think more ladies are going to these gel implants which are also known as silicone implants. And this, this is what you said was like an older version right, of right. it. And I noticed that it feels, it feels gummy, but I, I don't know, jelly. Yeah, th I mean, this is, the, this is the implant style that's been around since the 90s. And okay. basically it has a shell, which is silicone, but inside it has a silicone um, the gel. It's a uh, less cohesive gel. Okay. And you can see this is more of a flat implant, right. which we don't like to use because it doesn't look like a breast. To me, this gives us kind of a, a boob job look. It's like a, a pancake. pancake. Yeah. yeah, who wants a pancake no. for a breast? Okay, now these are the new and improved. These are called the gummy... The gummy bear implants. Gummy bear implants. Yeah. And the only difference, I, it still feels gel and natural-like, but yep. it may be a little thicker. Yep. Yep, right. and we're going to show you what happens when we cut Here's the different Here's the scary, ones. scary knife. <laughs> better, better scary. <laughs> All better, right, better, so scary. we're going to cut um, these open and show the difference of the cohesiveness of the gel. All right, okay. I'm going to let you do it. you want to do it? Or? No, you do it. Okay. <laughs> You're the <Okay>. surgeon. <laughs> this is not how he does it on no. the operating table. No, not at all. So we're going to try this here. We don't do this very often. If I don't cut myself. So it's pretty sturdy. Like if there, that's yeah, inside that's your body, it takes a lot. Sturdy. Okay, so that's a sharp okay, knife. Okay, now we've yeah we, we've ruptured. We've the ruptured it. Okay. Gel. And see when we squeeze this out. So that's what would be okay. That's what would be yeah. into your body. It's somewhat cohesive. Right. It's like sticky. you know, it's not like it goes throughout the body. The body actually puts a scar tissue shell around this, but it you know it tends to want to come out and. You know, it just then it's all deformed. Yeah, and so this can you know this can lead to a change in size or shape of the breast. Oftentimes, if this ruptures, that's what you'll notice. Okay? All right, let's try the gummy. All right, I'll try doing this one. Oh, okay, okay. <laughs> Don't cut yourself. Oh, we'll do oh, that. that wasn't too okay. hard. Okay. Now the gummy bear, we squeeze it out and then then let go, and it'll come back in. See how it comes back oh, in? Oh, yeah. And it's cohesive. It sticks together. So if you got a rupture with this one, it's going to come back in. Yeah, and we call this form stable. It basically maintains its shape, um, even if it has a rupture. Isn't that amazing? Wow. Yeah, yeah. And whereas this one, I mean, if, if I go like this, I mean, I won't get this off my... You know, it just doesn't stick together. That, see how it sticks together? A fundamental difference, yeah. and that's why we're we're going with about eighty percent, eighty to ninety percent of women are choosing that cohesive gel. This one is made by Sientra. That's the name of the company. There's two other companies that also make them. So, but All I right. think that's pretty cool. So there's our little experiment. All right, science. Bear implants. Okay.